James, we're approaching the end of the BNI Cup campaign this season. What have you learnt about your squad the past few weeks? We've we've given some boys an opportunity, and I'm uh, really pleased that um, a few of the younger lads that started against Connacht got the opportunity to back it up away at Bristol last Friday night. And we talked about the boys having uh, putting in 100% effort and taking the opportunity that was there. And even though we lost the game, you know, no one in this organisation likes losing. But there was a lot of positive performance that came out of it. I think Alex Brown made 28 tackles and scored a try after after we thought he died. We thought he'd popped his leg out or something. He just had cramp, but he got up and scored a scored a really good try and. Um, you know, the effort from the younger boys, Benny Cold has really stepped up to put a bit of pressure now on Hicksy and, um, and Jamie Stevenson. I think what's really important now going into Ponty and into, in, back into the league campaign, those senior boys that come in, it's how they react now. You know, uh, Alex Brown, Ben Calder, they're genuine contenders now for doing their bit within the squad. And uh, so the last two weeks have been invaluable. And uh, Matty Hawke's come in from nowhere. Uh, he's just turned up on our doorstep and he's done really well for us. So it's brilliant. You know, we're building a little bit of uh, depth to the squad and senior boys are coming back in and fingers crossed we're going to get a couple of boys back from injury as well. So hopefully we've turned a corner in terms of the, the, the squad and the depth. Was that final try by Matt Williams just rewards for the guys' efforts the past few weeks? I mean, it was a great finish by Matt, but it was also a great build-up play by the boys to set it up. It was the last play of the game, and the boys had been on the receiving end for a lot of it, emptied the tanks out defensively. Bristol had like 98% possession in the first half, um, and the boys were just defendingly, uh, defending heroically. So for Matty then... Uh, to score a great try to finish was was good. I mean, it didn't win us the game, but the boys came off the pitch in a very positive frame of mind. And as a coaching team, we've always got things to work on. But in terms of the effort and the endeavour, we're really pleased. Ponty Breed this weekend. What are your thoughts going into that? Hey, look, they're coming up here. They want to qualify. You know, they've, they've had an opportunity of getting through as one of the uh, best runners up. And we know they're going to bring a lot of buses. They came here this time last year and had a really good Christmas social. Uh, and they're a tough team on the pitch as well. Um, they'll, they'll throw bodies into the breakdown. They've got some big boys in the centre. And they kick really well. They manage the game really well for a, a semi-pro team. You know, they've got really good game management. You know, they know how to play the game down in Wales. So um, I think uh, it's going to be... A another tough 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 game and uh, we're building up now to go back into the league campaign it's a home game for us so even though it's another dead rubber the boys the boys need to go out and perform to the same the same levels against Bristol but with a little bit more accuracy do you expect it to be a physical encounter the way you're talking there I think you do yeah yeah I mean I, the boys have been challenged to be uh, to be more efficient in their defensive efforts to try and get the ball back a little bit earlier in the in the in the defensive phase count um, rather than being content to just suck up 10 phases you know it, it, it takes a lot out of the body and uh, it's a lot easier to play with the ball than without it and um, you know the boys have been challenged to T turn, turn in some reasonable defensive form, uh, performances into really good ones and then off the back of that we get to counter attack and um, so we, we, we're, we're focusing on that uh, and making sure we make the most of being able to play against a disorganised defence on turnovers George Merritt has come into the squad and Joe Reg from Harlequins he's a big lad <laughs> he's a big boy um, really fortunate you know, we've had Sam Toomey down before Sam Toomey's now playing obviously in the first team at Quinn so we've got George Merrick fortunately um, and he's a big boy and he's physical and uh, he's, he's good he's been down the last couple of sessions and he's put it around a little bit and um, you know James Chisholm's come in the last few games and played really well Harry Sloan's played really well and they're good boys I mean Quinn's they're bringing up these youngsters and they're developing them really well and um, they're the right kind of kid and we're really pleased to have them just finally, Mark Bright's uh, earned a late call up to the England Seven squad for the round three in Port Elizabeth this weekend. You'll be looking forward to seeing how he goes. Well, it's, it's, it's right for some, isn't it? Um, as long as he comes back in one piece and gets a little bit of sun, uh, you know, you're good for him. But um, you know, Bright is integral for what we do. Uh, it's great that he gets the, the acknowledgement from outside the camp, but w we need to make sure the boys are in a good shape to finish the season well. And um, we haven't got the biggest squad, so when things like that happen to us, you know, it sort of knocks us a little bit. What's great, like we said previously, is Alex Brown, um, Chris Walker's come back to some form, Chevy's close. You know, it's great that we've got these boys who can come in and do a good a job, and it'll be really interesting to see how we go against a tough Ponty outfit without Mark Bright. And, um, uh, you know, Alex Brown, uh, Neil Best and JP, you know, they, they've, they've got to pick up the, the gauntlet and run with it, because, you know, Bright is really important for us, but it's a great opportunity for him and he gets our full support and we hope he enjoys it. Thanks for joining us. Cheers.